Verse 10 says, As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of, the, of God's varied grace. So what are your gifts that, that the Holy Spirit has given you? Um, all the gifts are for the glory of God. Do you agree with this? And to build up the body of Christ. Um, so make sure that we're using our gifts. Um, <clears throat> I was just thinking about uh, this um, uh, analogy that uh, Paul uses about the body and the different parts of the body. They all come together and every, everybody has a different function and that kind of stuff. Um, we can do our job better as a church when all the parts of the body are functioning well. Right? Amen. Is everybody in the church doing something for the gospel? For the kingdom of God? In the church, are you doing your part? And don't feel like I, uh, I don't, I don't know what to do. I share this analogy with. It's a very profound analogy. Uh, one time we're driving to visit a church, and and my wife is looking at me. You know, and she she looks at me every once in a while, but this time she's just staring at me, and and the sun is on on this side, so I'm 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 imagining myself. I look really beautiful right now. <laughs> Like, my wife, she's just, like, looking at me. So, I, you know, I'm having all these crazy thoughts in my head, like, I should become a model or something, you know? I hear you. <laughs> and then I told Wendy, like, like what's, what's this? Like, <laughs> and she, had, you know what she said? She said, there's some... Um, <laughs> some hairs in your nose. <laughs> and it's... So, so my self-esteem was really high. It just like crash. I said, Thank you, honey. <laughs> and so I did a full research on hair in your nose. And they're there for a purpose, <laughs> right? They act as a filter, right, for your body. They're, they're a filter. They're there for a reason. So don't be ashamed of your hair in the nose, okay? <laughs> How many of us do we feel in the body of Christ that we're insignificant? Like, I don't have a big gift like preaching and music and teaching and all that kind of stuff. But there might be something that God gave you that is the gift. And you're supposed to be using it. Amen. And if you put your gift in use, you're going to help the body of Christ. The body of Christ is going to be healthy. The body of Christ is going to be able to accomplish the mission. So don't feel like your hair in the nose. Because you're, you're part of the body. And so uh, everything that we do in the church, we do for the, for the glory of God. Do we have this, this thinking of Jesus? We want to be obedient to God. Amen. He has given me a gift. And as I encounter all what the culture and all what the world is doing that is just goes against God, I come to the church to be built up and I'm part of helping someone be built up. Yeah. As minimal as my gift may seem, once I put it to use, it's for the honor of glory. And if he's happy with me, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Right? 